Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting. Thank you so much for all the sweet comments that you left on my card share. Uh, it was my previous video. Um, everybody seemed to really love these little chicken note cards. And uh, thank you so much. I think they're so fun and they were really enjoyable to make. So um, I thought I would take you through the making process of um, making some of these little note cards like this. So let's go ahead and get started. I have cut some um, green cardstock in um, several different colors of um, green here. And um, these are uh, three, uh, three and three quarters inch square once they're folded. Um, so I think it's a really good size. It's the same size that I used for my chicken cards. And so it's really great size. I also cut some, let's see if I can grab it here. I cut some of my um, stamping panels and uh, mats as well. So the stamping panel, uh, which is a cream cardstock, I've cut it at three inches square. I've cut the mat at three and one eighth inch square. So when you um, put them all together, they still show a nice border of the uh, cardstock behind. So I really like that. So we'll be working with those um, as I make my card here. So I'm just gonna set these off to the side for now. and uh, pull out some of my stamps and kind of talk you through the making process of making um, a little note card similar to this one. So some of the things that I'm gonna use here, um, I think instead of doing the chickens, I'm gonna use this old vintage Christmas stamp with these handsome Santas on it, five different Santas. This is a PSX stamp from 1996. And so I think I'm gonna use that one today. And I'm also going to put down um, this little foam pad here. I like to stamp on foam, so it just gives a little bit of cushion there. So I'm going to um, put that down, and then I'm just going to use this little note card to protect my surface here. So some of the stamps I'm going to use, um, I've pulled out a few things. Of course, you can use what you have in your stash. It's going to be really you know, what you have available to you. Um, but I pulled out some things just to share with you, just to kind of give you some ideas. This is a random stamp that I have in my stash um, from, uh, I think it's uh, River City Rubber Works. Uh, it's called V-Mail Letter. Um, this one is from 19, oh, excuse me, from 2000. So it's not new by any means, but beautiful and so random. I love this stamp actually. So I've got that one here. And then I also have um, this music stamp. This is from, I think it's a Judikins stamp. Yeah. Um, so this is an old one as well, but beautiful. So if you have any music stamps um, in your stash, pull those out. That's a good, um, like a background texture to use. And then this stamp is so fun. It's, um, it's called Speckled from Stampin' Up. And this is old as well from 1997. But this is a great stamp. If you can find one of these on the used marketplace, it's fantastic. I love this stamp. And let's see. Many of you might actually have that stamp in your stash if you've been stamping as long as I have. <laughs> and then um, also from my stash are these stamps here. This is a container full of some of my absolute favorite, no longer available, unfortunately, stamps from Impression Obsession. This container is full of things like um, letter, handwritten letters, uh, there's some poetry in here that's written in a different language. There's some random letters and numbers. Um, here's like an office stamp where it has like a, you know, a cancellation stamp. It says registered and it has some numbers up here. Um, here's a random little doily. Uh, there's some postage type stamps. This is um, not negotiable. Uh, something 1922. Two, so it's got some random numbers on there. Um, here's, a, I think this is a chocolate label <laughs> um, in French. So all these types of stamps, if you have these in your stash, will work great for this technique. Here's a little chicken wire. That would have been fun to use on my chicken note cards. Um, here's some more writing. Here's some random numbers. Um, these uh, different types of texture border stamps are fun to use. So if you have anything like this in your stash, um, this is the kind of stuff that you should um, pull out and put to use for this uh, technique. So I love these stamps. I'm gonna pull out this number one here. Um, yeah, I think I'll just do that one for now. And then let's see, what else have I got? Um, if you want something that's still current and available, um, 
if you don't have anything in your stash and you want to do a little shopping, I pulled out a few sets to share with you. This is one from Red Lead Paperworks. Uh, their website is redleadpaperworks.com and they have great stamps, um, beautiful red rubber stamps. This is just a little set of labels here. I could not find my Enjoy stamp. This was, um, I had a whole like a whole row of this Enjoy stamp stamped out on a piece of scratch paper. I, I don't know if somebody gave it to me, um, if it was in the Happy Mail, um, but I could not find the stamp when I went looking for it. So, um, But I pulled this out because I do have that. And um, of course that will come in handy for Christmas and winter projects that I'll be working on too. This is another one from Stampers Anonymous that's letters, numbers, and punctuation, uh, just a few punctuations. Um, this one was from Tuesday morning years ago. Um, but if you go to the Stampers Anonymous website, they still have this set available for sale. They don't actually retire any of their sets. So as long as it's in the normal um, catalog from Stampers Anonymous, they don't retire them. Um, I also pulled out this one. These are um, sets that you can still get today. Uh, this, of course, is the Field Notes set from Stampers Anonymous. And then these are the um, small sets that Tim Holtz put out through Joanne. They also come with a stencil as well. Um, so you might have these in your stash, but I kind of just stick them in here because they kind of go with the field notes, um, st uh, stamp set. So I just stick them in here and keep them all together. And then, um, I also pulled out this one. This is the creative expressions stamp that I picked up recently from scrapwood.com and from Sam Poole. And I love this. It's got just random dates and numbers and signatures and some little labels. So that'll be fun. And then, um... On my uh, note cards that I made, I used uh, some little fake postage stamps, and that came from this little roll that I picked up. Um, so I pulled it out. But if you don't have this, if you have a stamp set in your collection, you can make your own stamps as well. So just wanted to remind you that if you have um, something like this in your stash, uh, pull it out as well. It will come in handy for this type of a project. And then also, if you don't have um, stamps that have this little, uh, like a label, um, there are stickers available. So for example, here's um, this little packet of uh, vial labels. These would work. Um, I love how they're kind of aged looking because I've had these for so long. <laughs> so they're um, truly old now at this point. Um, but this little package comes in red and uh, black. And I'm pretty sure this is still available um, at retailers. And then of course, um, you can also get uh, little snippets and things like that too. If you don't want to have stamps or don't have stamps, but you might have some little labels and tags and things like that. These also would come in really handy for little projects like this. So let's go ahead and get started. I think what I'll do is um, stamp this Santa image here on my three by three um, stamp panel. And I think I'm gonna use, um, Versafine. I'm just going to leave the image black. If I wanted to add any colored um, colors to it with Copic markers, I would use um, uh, Memento ink, but I'm just going to leave the image uh, black like I did on my chicken note card. I think that's kind of fun and different. And the whole point of these, I think, is, you know, to be kind of quick and easy. So once you start coloring and painting and that kind of stuff, it also adds to the time that you're spending on the projects. But I kind of like this in just black. So that's beautiful, beautiful stamped image. And now I'm just going to start adding some stuff at random. I think I'll add these little numbers here. I kind of like the look of this. Um, I've got some stamp blocks out so I can just adhere these on here. And I don't want it to over um, compete too much with the um, Santas. So I think I'm going to stamp this in tea dye. Oh, maybe antique linen. It was just kind of in the background. And I have um, some note card here. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. A note card here that I can practice on. And the nice thing is you don't have to ink the whole stamp. You just have to ink the part you're going to use. <laughs> so I kind of like the end of the numbers here. And you can, um, you know, stamp that off and stamp it a second time to get even lighter ink coverage. So that's kind of fun. I like that. And then... Let's see, I have that speckle stamp. Let me go ahead and use this. I really love this um, stamp. So I'll show you how I like to use it. Since it is so large and it's on a wood block, it makes it a little unwieldy if you wanna stamp just a small area. So I just put some ink on there and then I just hold uh, my stamp panel in my hand and 
touch it to uh, the inked stamp and then I'm able to add speckles just where I want them. You know, as opposed to laying this down and having to flip this over and stamp the entire speckle <laughs> stamp on my project. So there, I think that's fun. Plenty of speckles. And then let's see, what else should we do? Maybe we should do some numbers or something down in here. So I'm going to use this set from Sam uh, from Creative Expressions. And this just has some random numbers in it. I think I'll use this 32... Uh, oh, maybe I'll use this, this one here. It's a little bit larger. Set that off to the side. This is kind of a fun little number. I have no idea what these numbers mean. Does anyone? Maybe Sam does. <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to stamp this one um, in this direction here. And um, I think I'll use... I think I'll use a brown, a brown ink. Let's give it a little practice there. Actually, I think I want it in black. There we go. Oh, I love that. All right, now what else can we do? We can probably add uh, maybe a postage mark and a cancellation. So I also have these stamps pulled out, of course. These are my um, old, old, old stamps. Um, I found a 4th of July one as I was going through my stash, gathering stuff up for this video. Um, but I think I'll just pull out this one here. And I used to buy these um, sheets of rubber stamps on eBay um, and then cut them apart and mount them on these little blocks. Um, so you might even be able to find some still on eBay if you look for um, unmounted sheets of postage stamps. Um, something like that. I like this one. <clears throat> so, and then let's see. I've got to, I've got to test this. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Fun, fun. I'm just going to stamp it up here in the corner. And then I'm going to stamp the little cancellation mark here. So that is also fun. And then I do want to add one of my little um, fake stamp stickers on here. Um, that one has a mushroom on it or something. Must be from the other roll. Um, let's see. Things are getting a little squirrely here. Um, I think I'm just going to use this green one here. Since it's the lone one out there on the edge. So I'm just going to stick this down. It has a dude's face on it. And then I'm just going to use my scissors and snip off that excess, but I'm not going to throw that away. I'm going to stick it back on the roll because I can use this side again on my next project. So I'm going to save that. So that's kind of fun. And I think that's good. I think I'm good with the stamping now. Um, I think what I'll do is just add some ink to the edges. I'm using Vintage Photo. It's probably my favorite distress ink color. And I'm using um, this uh, blender brush from Picket Fence Studio. They were the first company to put out the blending brushes. And I actually was on the design team for them at the time. So that was kind of fun. Um, and then I'm also going to use uh, this uh, metal ruler here to kind of distress the edges of my panel. And you can see how easy that is with this little ruler. Works so nice. And then I can um, add a little bit of ink here to the edges as well, just to kind of hide that fresh white paper that I've just exposed. Oh, that's fun. All right. So now let's take a look here. Um, I think what I'll do is I will add my um, stamped design here to a black mat. And I've got some glue here that I found in my stash. So it's got to be put to use before it goes bad. It is the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. So 
give that a little bit of glue. And then I think what I'll do is add some faux stitching. I like to add my faux stitching after I've added the stamped panel to the mat because it helps kind of press the glue into place. I'm gonna skip going over the stamp. I love adding faux stitching to projects. It's probably my favorite step. <laughs> I think I gotta shift this over just a smidge. Nope, too late, it's already set. <laughs> There's that. And now what I'm gonna do is add it to one of my card bases that I cut. Let's see, I'm also gonna um, rough up the black edge just a little bit, um, just so it's not quite so fresh cut looking. And now I can actually score my card here. Oops, I scored the wrong side. I scored the back side of the paper where there's no texture. So I have to fold that against the mountain. That's all right. And give that a quick score. <clears throat> now I'm gonna add just a little bit of ink to the outside of my card as well, just to make it not look so fresh and new. <laughs> You can do the whole card, inside and out. I'll save the um, inside for later. And then what I like to do is I like to look at the bottom. Um, oftentimes when you cut cardstock um, and score it in half, it doesn't score quite exactly. Um, and you'll have one side that's slightly longer, just a smidge longer than the other. And I always like to try and put that um, to the front of my card. So when you open the card, you have a little bit of a lip there to catch against your thumb. So I'm just going to kind of glue this little guy in place. And we are done. There we go. So, so fun and easy. I love making projects like this. I could have actually um, cut one of these out as well and put it on here instead of that stamp or instead of that number. That would have been fun. Joy to the world. Peace on earth. So lots of options that you can do. If you don't have little postage st um, stamps, you can use you can use actual stamps. You can make your own. Um, you can use like the little labels that I showed you. All kinds of things that you can do. But anywho, I hope uh, you enjoyed this little process to see how I make these little note cards. I think they turn out so cute. So thanks for watching. And I'm going to keep on building more of these note cards here. And I'll probably share them with you in a future video. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.